Namaste, yogis. Did you know that the 200 hour teacher training curriculum sets a max for number of hours to learn business of yoga at five? That means that you cannot include more than five hours of business of yoga when you are teaching yoga teachers. So that means at 2.5% of the total hours you spent studying to become a yoga teacher, 2.5% of those hours at max could be about the business of yoga. And while it is important to know things like anatomy and philosophy and all of those things, there simply isn't enough time to learn how to run a business, to learn how to make money that can pay bills, to learn how to organize clientele, get clients. It's simply there isn't enough time. And so I know that and I'm not upset at the standards. I'm not upset at the curriculum. What I have done instead of being upset that so many yoga teachers out here are flailing, that so many yoga businesses are closing because they don't know how to make money. Instead of being upset about that and sad about that, because I love yoga teachers so much and I want us all to win, I created a five-day virtual yoga event challenge. And I've been talking about this a couple days now what I am most excited about is that we already have people signing up. We already have people joining the Facebook group. We already have people coming in and getting the bonus. So that one of the bonuses that you get just for signing up for free is that you get 77 yoga event ideas in a PDF. And what's really cool about that is, is that you don't necessarily already need to have an idea to be able to join the challenge. You get a list of ideas and actually there's more than 77 don't tell anybody i told you but there's 77 plus and even if you're not sure and you're like i don't know what i'm doing you still can join and have an idea and i'm really excited because i'm already getting messages from people like thank you so much this is right on time for my business Thank you so much. I was wondering how I was going to pay bills this month. Thank you so much. I didn't know what was going to happen next if I was going to be able to stay open or if I was going to have to keep looking for jobs or start looking again for jobs. And that's real. Like many of us started yoga as a part time thing because it just didn't seem like yoga teachers make money. And the truth of the matter is that you're not going to make money until you learn how to. I'm going to say that again. The truth of the matter is that until you learn how to make money, how to attract finances to you, then you're not going to make the type of money that you truly deserve to make, make the type of impact and income that you truly deserve to make. And so with that being said, like a big part of my journey, I taught a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of yoga when I first started, like thousands of hours within a few years and I was working with the studios and that's where my money was coming and I depended on the studios to pay my bills and I was waiting on those checks every month like all right it's coming I didn't even have to think about it because I knew how much I taught and for some of us especially since a lot of studios closed it's just not realistic Especially since, you know, a lot of people are afraid to come out into studios or there's just like so, so much going on right now in the yoga industry. There's these yoga teachers that paid a couple hundred dollars, uh, maybe a hundred dollars to become a teacher. And you don't really learn very much. I mean, you learn what you need to know to get started. Of course, if you're getting a certification from those programs, you know, but it's like, how do you even talk to people? How do you approach the conversation about money? I mean, you're talking about yoga. You learn how to talk and discuss those topics. But how do you talk about creating an ongoing business? How do you talk about collaborating with other people? You don't even know what to approach. And so when I was thinking about all the things that I could help you with all the things that I love and found success with in my yoga business. And I was like, well, how can I keep it real simple and give them something that's of value? 
And I thought back to when I first got that email from the yoga studio that it was closing down or that it was, they were laying me off. I think one, one of those emails came before that. I think they laid me off first and then they emailed and said that they were closing the studio forever. And at that point, I was already hosting online events and I laughed to myself. It was like, oh, okay. And I saw online, unfortunately, so many yoga teachers having to figure out what to do next, having to start OnlyFans. Not that I have anything against OnlyFans, but feeling like that's your only option, that I'm not about. Feeling like the only thing that you can do is like something that you're against, I'm not about that. And so for all my people out there who love teaching yoga and want yoga to be a real thing, want it to be a real job for you, then join the five-day virtual yoga event challenge. I'm going to walk you step-by-step, day-by-day, starting November 1st, and we're going to create a plan for your yoga event. With that plan, you can take it and create all the things you want to create. I also will be inviting everyone who signs up for free to upgrade to VIP and the VIP options like all the things that you think oh well I can't do a challenge because of accountability that that's included in the VIP option well I want to be able to ask questions in real time that's included in the VIP option I want to get a one-on-one with Alicia that's included in the VIP option and so you can absolutely join for free in the Facebook it's going to be free every single day of the challenge And if you want the recordings because you're not sure if you can show up on time, that's in the VIP option. If you want to be able to take the implementation lab and join me and actually get the things done in real time so that right in the moment when you have the question, we can alleviate that question and go on and finish the assignments and press check on those boxes. That is what the VIP is all about. And so I'm excited for all of it. I'm excited to see everyone in the Facebook group. And I look forward to seeing you there. If this is for you, click the link below in the caption. Join us. Join the Facebook group. And I will see you in the yoga event challenge. It's going to be awesome. Namaste. The mission is always world peace through inner peace.